I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there, but that's how I was raised, and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Thank you. Thank you very much. Miss California lost because she's a dumb bitch. Okay, if that girl would have won Miss USA California, I would have gone up on stage. I you not. I would have gone up on stage, snatched that tiara off her head, and run out the door. I am a homosexual, and I'm not gonna f you stop. I don't care about your God. I don't care about your Bible. I don't care about your cop. I am a homosexual. I'm gonna live this way, and I'm f***ing proud of it. And as you see there, that is Phyllis Burgess, the woman that we've just identified. And she walked there holding, as you can see, a large cross, along with appears to be a couple of other people. And within just moments, it didn't take long for that cross to be pulled out of her hand as the cross gets trampled. And the beginning of 2005, our son Jacob was going into kindergarten, and he came home with a diversity book bag. And in the diversity book bag was a book entitled Who's in a Family by Robert Scutch. And that introduces children to same-sex households. It introduces children to such things as Clifford and her dad's partner, Henry. When we went into the school, what we requested is parental notification when these issues are brought up by adults within the school and the option to opt our child out of this type of indoctrination said we didn't think, um, number one, it was, it was appropriate to discuss that with our five-year-old and that if we ever felt it was necessary to, to have that discussion with our son, we would choose the timing and the manner in which to discuss it with him. Um, and then uh, she said, well, she, she had checked with the administrators and, had, and they had said that this was not a parental notification issue and in fact that any adult in the school uh, could discuss homosexual families and homosexual issues with our children. And I said, I'm prepared to sit here all night until I see some form of accommodation as a parent. To make a, a long story short, the accommodation they gave was to put me in handcuffs and send me to jail. I couldn't believe that they were willing to arrest my husband because my, David, because my husband and I just wanted parental notification. We want to raise our children to know God, and God has blessed us with the sacred responsibility to raise them for Him, to know Him, and to know His truth.